Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. I appreciate you watching. I am uh, just a guy who enjoys playing craps and I uh, haven't even named my channel yet. I'm just getting started and we'll see what happens. I'm actually making this video before I have my first video officially posted to YouTube. I'm just having some fun recording and in case this ends up making it on on YouTube, I thought I would uh, just try to be as official as I could. So I hope you enjoy my channel, enjoy watching my videos, and um, hopefully you can have some fun too. Uh, listen, every uh, strategy that you go with, it doesn't matter what strategy you're using or if you use no strategy at all, this is craps, it is gambling, and uh, you're prone to losing more than you win. Uh, so the goal is to have fun, and yet there are strategies that are fun to test out and fun to play. and. Um, you can uh, you can see how it goes for you and if you enjoy craps like I do you can build your own home table this one was real easy to make for me and I'm very low skilled when it comes to uh, making things so uh, I did it very basic and uh, maybe someday in another video I'll break down how I made my table and I promise you it didn't cost that much and uh, it was easy to make for anybody I promise you you can make a table uh, if you want to go more fancy, there certainly are ways to do it, but I don't have a fancy table yet. So maybe in the future I will do that. So let's get to rolling. I'm going to play out a strategy that I like to play. Um, and I like to start with 44 inside working and uh, and then go from there. And I've got a strategy that plays two of the numbers to try to build up. And uh, that's how it goes. So we'll, I just like to play it out and uh, let you watch and Hopefully you learned something and hopefully you have some fun uh, watching the video and uh, maybe try this strategy on your own table or at the casino sometimes. So again, I'm going to start with uh, 44 inside. That's 10 on the 5, 6, 8, and 9. And then I cap the 6 and 8, of course, with $2 each. That's 44 inside. Always working. I never want to lose a roll. My goal is to get five rolls and then get out, and hopefully I've made some money in five rolls. Occasionally I'll leave it on for a sixth, seventh, eighth roll sometimes, ninth or tenth, just depending on how the table feels to me, and depending on where I'm at. If I went up a lot or if I got in really early and made some profits, uh, I'll keep playing. And occasionally after the five rolls, if I still feel like, if I made some money, uh, I might put 22 inside again and just try to build back up and, and play it by ear after that. Again, I'm here to have fun. And I'm going to use these blue chips to mark the numbers that I've hit on the table so that we can see and count where we're at, and we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, set the dice, and we'll get ready to go. Dice are out. Okay, we got a 5-5, five, five, a hard 10. Hard 10 it is, so 10 is the point. I'm gonna mark the 10, I did not have anything on the 10, so that is a zero for me, but uh, I'll go back and shoot them again. So here we go. By the way, I am using a 3-2-3-6 three, three, dice set, so the, the flying V, the V3, as I've heard it referred to as a few names, but uh, that's what I use. I'm not very good at it and uh, doesn't always work, but I'm trying to learn and it is just something I feel gives me a little confidence, maybe a little, not a whole lot, but a little confidence as I shoot the dice. So dice are out. And we have a four, one, five. Four, one, five. So I'm on the five here. Point, oh, let's mark this. And the five is going to pay 14. So what I do here, I, if the point is on this end of the table, I usually play this. So uh, if the point is the eight, nine, or 10, I'll play the, the five and six. So I'm trying to build up the five and the six in this point. I could build up the eight and nine, it's okay. It doesn't really matter, I just pick two. Uh, giving me a better chance of building up a number that's going to hit later. So I pick the 5 and 6 if the point is on the, uh, I don't know what they call this, downtown, uptown, downtown, whatever. If it's on the 8, 9, or 10, I play this side. If it's down here on the 4, 5, and 6, I'll play the 8 and 9. I just pick 2. Doesn't matter. Just the way I do it. So on the first hit, I'm going to add to each of these. I'm going to bank $3. And I'm going to add one unit each to the 6 and 8. 
So now I've got 15 on the, on the 5 and 18 on the 6. All right, I'll keep shooting. And dice are out. All right, we have a three, two, five. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. A three, two, five. So I've hit the five twice now, which means I'm already, I'm already building this up, and uh, now I've hit it a couple times. So what's going to happen? I realize I have a green chip there. So now fifteen is going to win. Whoops, sorry about that. Fifteen is going to win twenty-one. So what I'm going to do now, because I hit this number and won twenty-one. I've got two e two units each with one extra here. So I'm gonna throw in a dollar for, that I made last time. And I'm gonna put this here. And I'm gonna go up two units on the five and six. So now I have one, two, three, four, five units. So I've got 25 on the five and I've got 30 on the six, right? And I've only one, two, three, so I'm three rolls in. Okay, now I'm hoping Actually, at this point, so what I usually do, once I've gotten to five units, I pull down the other number and take these as profit, all right? So I'm gonna take that and just add them to my chip rack here. So now I'm really just looking for the uh, the five or the six to hit one time, and uh, we'll go from there. Dice are out. All right, we got a five, four, nine. Five, four, nine. I'm gonna mark the nine. It does nothing for me. Again, I took down the eight and nine. If I had left them up, I'd have won a little bit there, but I'm not looking to really build any more on here. I don't like to go above 25 and 30. It's just my personal preference. You can do it if you want to. You can keep stacking them up, shooting for that five rolls if you want to, but uh, I just prefer not to. The, the most comfortable I feel, the highest level I feel comfortable at, I should say, is uh, 25 on the 5 and 9 and 30 on the 6 or 8. So that's where I stick with. Dice are up. All right, we have a 4 1 5. That's good, that's good. All right, so the five hit again, that's the third hit on that five. But now here's where my strategy comes into play because that five is gonna win 35, that five chips, five times seven is 35, right? So that's where you win the $35. So I'm gonna bank that. That's my winnings there. Now, I've hit one, two, three, four, five numbers. So I've reached my goal not only for hitting, but for number of rolls. So I'm gonna bank all of this. Now, I'm still waiting for the point, and um, I, uh, at this point, I can do whatever I want to. I'm gonna play the hard ways, it's just what I like to do. So I'm gonna put um, $2 on each of the hard ways, and I'm gonna keep playing Hoping I hit a hard way, but uh, mostly just protecting the bankroll I already have accumulated. I do realize I have not been playing the pass or the don't. Um, I, if I'm not the shooter, I will most of the time just leave those off. I realize I should have put a pass line out, so I suppose I could do that now and be uh, do it the way I should. I, I haven't hit the point yet. The point was 10, so the point is still out here. Uh, but um, now I'm only playing the hard ways, so... Dice are out. We have a hard 10. Hard 10. That's kind of funny to me, but uh, that's cool. All right, so this is cool. Um, I uh, will get the, uh, since I made that honest, I will get paid that $5. But we also made the point so the puck is off, and I was playing the hard 10 here. So the hard 10 is going to pay 8 4 one. So uh, that is 7 two, one. Either way, it means the same thing. So I got two chips here, so that's going to pay uh, 
14 chips, seven, two, one. So I'm gonna leave these up and it's gonna pay seven times two chips. So it's gonna pay 14 and I'm gonna take 15 here, 15, four, one, just to give them that one and make it easier to pay. Whoops, I'll leave that there for now. So I've got 15 I just made and I'm gonna leave them up and just uh, keep working. So if I'm the shooter, I'm still, now I'm, I've got the point, I've got the pass line covered. Oh, I should also mark that because we're still playing here and keeping track. So let's hope to hit another hard way. Dice are out. Whoa, 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 that was terrible. Terrible, terrible, but I'm gonna pull, pull this out here so you can see we hit a nine, five, four, nine. So nine is the point, I'm gonna mark that. Nothing here affected, I'm still playing those. By the way, I always work, just work all the time. Uh, unless I, sometimes if I have a large bankroll I've got out here, sometimes I'll just get a little skittish and I'll turn them off. Usually don't do that. I will usually just leave it working. So um, I've got the hard ways working, nothing out here. I'm still shooting and just having fun after I went through my original process. So dice are out. We have a five, three, eight, five, three, eight. So eight came easy. That means, whoops, here we go. I'm gonna lose my $2 here. Now, when I'm playing in the bonus, essentially, I'm beyond uh, what I was originally doing. I'm not gonna put these back up again. I'm basically just trying to have a little bit of extra fun, hopefully hit something, which I did once with the hard 10. And um, I'm just gonna ride this out and hope one of these hits again. If not, I already hit the hard 10 once. So that's how I play it. You can play it however you want to. And dice are out. We got a four, two, six, four, two, six. So six came easy again. I'm going to lose, whoops. I'm going to lose the hard six. And I'm going to mark the six here. First time I hit the six this roll. And I'm still up. Still looking for another hard ten or a hard four. And dice are out. All right, we got ourselves a yo. Yo, 11, five, six. I'm gonna mark that down here. Let's see, I'll mark that there. So we hit the yo and nothing happening on the yo. So I will just reset and shoot again. Dice are out. We have a 2-1 AC Deucey. An AC and a Deucey, again, doesn't affect my hard ways here. I'm gonna mark the AC Deucey here. I'm gonna grab some more blue chips because I'm still shooting. And we're back at it. Dice are up. All right, we have a five, three, eight, a five, and a three. I'm gonna mark the eight. Five, three, eight is not a hard way, but I'm already off the hard way, so that didn't matter. Dice are out. And 
in the corner. What do we got here? What do we got? Okay, we got a hard six. Three, three, hard six. I'm going to mark the six. I'm already down on the hard ways again on the six. I'm not replenishing those. I just let it ride. And uh, for now, I'm resetting and going again. Dice are out. All right, five, three, eight. I got a five, three, eight. Again, no hard ways. I'm gonna mark the eight, and we're still shooting, looking for that nine or hard ten or hard four. Dice are out. We have a three one four. Mark the four. First time we hit the four. Three one four. So three one four is the easy four. So the four is gonna come down. Now all I've got left is that hard ten, which I already hit once. And uh, we'll just keep doing it again. You're welcome to put those hard ways back up, or you can play other ways. Obviously, I'm missing out on a lot of points, but uh, I did decide to take that down. That's just the way I play and uh, you can do however you want. So we're still looking for hard 10 again. Let's do it one more time. Dice are out. All right, we have ourselves a five, four, nine. Perfect, all right, so we have hit another point. Five, four, nine, so the puck is off. I'm gonna mark that nine, we are off, and the nine is gonna pay me because I've got this front line here so i'm gonna leave that up now i have uh come to a dilemma here i've hit a point again i'm hitting a lot of numbers i've got the hard way out i'm gonna keep that working i'm gonna stay off here but i may do some action here i'm, I'm kind of ready to get back in and play a little bit more so i'm gonna still shoot but uh we'll see what happens here so i'm off except for i am on on the hard ways dice are out Okay, five, one, six. I'm gonna mark the six. Puck is on, we're on the six here. And we got a five, one, six. Now, I think what I might do just to get some action back on the game, I'm gonna play, well, I'm playing the five, I'm playing the six here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put, let's move this out of the way a little bit. I'm gonna put odds back here. And I am going to play on the, Eight, just to have some fun here. I'm going to leave the 10 working up here on, on the hard ways. I got a little bit of action going back on now and uh, just to try to, you know, see if I can make a little more money while I'm uh, still shooting the dice. Dice are out. Hard four, two, two, four. I'm gonna mark the four here. And you know what? I don't necessarily like playing odds back here. I don't know, a lot of people like to do it, but to me it just, I, I don't know. So I'm gonna move this just the way I play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the five again. Let's do the five. I like the way that the five was hitting earlier. So uh, I'm gonna play the eight and the five and I got the six covered here. Dice are out. All right, we got ourselves a six, three, nine. Six, three, nine. Maybe I should have played the nine instead of the five. I'm gonna mark that. And no action in that sense. I didn't. Uh, Got nothing there that was paying, so I'll reset and go again. Dice are out. All 
All right. Seven out. Five, two, seven. Five, two, seven. Point is off. Take the line. Pay the don'ts. <laughs> I don't have anything on the don'ts. So I'm going to lose this and lose these. And I'm going to lose these hard ways that were still sitting there. And we have a seven. So just like I did mark the seven here. Now, let's figure out where we're at. But uh, first, I want to check and see because that was a long roll. So these are all the points I hit before the seven came. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So 25. I mean, <laughs> these are points, not dollars. So that's 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 rolls before the 7 came. So that was pretty good. That's, uh, I've, I think my longest roll actually at a casino is 32 rolls that I've counted. I've had tracked for me. So 32 was pretty good. But okay, so the 7 came. Let's see where we're at here. Just one shooter. One. one short there so we got this four and one so here's a hundred twenty five fifty seventy five a hundred hundred and twenty five hundred and sorry about that my son's talking to me just sure yes bud yes <laughs> that happens sometimes when you got kids so again a hundred hundred and twenty five hundred and thirty thirty five 40, 45, 145 plus 100 here in quarter chips and 25. So 100, 200, 25, 50, 70, 100, $270. There we go. Well, if you watch me long enough, you'll realize math is not my strong suit. Sometimes I have to stop and think about it. So 275 or 270, $270. Anyway, you can see that here. And uh, that was nice. So again, uh, appreciate you watching. And this has gone on a little long now since I had a long roll here. So I will let you go. But uh, keep watching. I'll try to produce more content. And I'm sure that uh, I will have days that don't turn out as well as this one. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.